At Republican headquarters on election night, the Utah GOP honored retiring Senator Orrin Hatch at their victory party. Reporter Michaela Huberdine was there when Hatch gave a speech in honor of his service. Michaela, how was the event? The energy was excited and the event was packed. While Senator Orrin Hatch was honored, you could feel the respect from everyone there. Him, uh, a lot of thanks for a lot of uh, long, hard years. Last night, Republicans honored Senator Orrin Hatch for his decades of public service. Hatch is the longest serving Republican senator in the history of the United States. He was elected to office in 1976 and served for an unprecedented seven terms. At 83 years old, after serving for 42 years, Senator Orrin Hatch announced his decision to retire earlier this year. I've always been a fighter. I was an amateur boxer in my youth, and I brought that fighting spirit with me to Washington. But every good fighter knows when to hang up the gloves. The event started with a video commemorating his successes and achievements in office. People applauded and showed their love and support for a senator who fought for them and their ideals. I'm a big fan of Orrin Hatch. I'm from Texas myself, but I've heard great things about him. I actually just met him a couple minutes ago. I shook hands with him. He's a very nice guy, very sincere. I like him. We love Senator Hatch. He has been a legacy for this state, being the senior senator. Do well, uh, congratulate Senator Hatch for his 42 years. People were in high spirits as the evening went on. The room was brimming with the thought of victory in the polls as eyes were constantly checking the TV screens. I've been keeping an eye on the screen. Um, here in Utah, they're looking promising. They're looking good. Uh, across the country, it's still anybody's game. And Senator Orrin Hatch did not stay long, but took the time to talk and take pictures with people at the event. Senator Hatch plans to spend more time with family now that he is retired. Thanks, Michaela.